gonna go traveling for three weeks with my flatmate Chris through China, Tibet, and Nepal with the highlight of reaching Mount Everest base camp. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be freaking awesome. We're getting to do something that I think a lot of people won't get to do. Mount Everest base camp, but Mount Everest, we're gonna conquer Everest. No tourist section. We're now gonna do something that no one's ever done before. Yeah, definitely not that woman. No. <laughs> So exotic. Yeah, buddy. You all right? <laughs> Just that. Such a cute little village. Ah! We're about to get a train to Tibet. It's going to take 46 hours. It's like the same distance as getting a train from New York to LA. When we're in Tibet, we're not allowed to film any of the police cars or tanks or military buildings there. Just being aware of everything you say is going to be a bit strange, especially for someone like Carl who shoots his mouth off at literally every opportunity. <laughs> One of my biggest fears for this trip, or biggest concerns, was altitude sickness. We're going to be going up over 5,000 metres. That was bloody tiring walking up from the bus to here. Where's Chris? And Chris has suffered really badly from it. We had to take him to the hospital. He was in that bad condition. He was asleep, he was getting delirious, he could barely walk, you know, he didn't really know what was going on. The main thing we need to do is get him to lower altitude. But what that means is maybe missing Mount Everest. It feels a bit weird to do something touristy whilst Chris is stuck in hospital. I've seen the map and we don't know where we are. So this is Kathmandu. Oh, yeah. Rockstar. They probably think that. <laughs> There's nothing between you and all that amazing view. Very, very impressed. It's spectacular. <laughs> Hopefully we can figure out a way to get to Mount Everest. The hospital I'm in now is horrible. Just incredible. Yeah, I actually didn't like that. I don't like her. <laughs>